Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your daily love message. I hope this message serves you well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Sagittarius. So I will tip you on down. This message will come to you when you need to hear it. So um, if it resonates with it, you take it. If not, leave it and make sure you check out all your signs. So, all right, Sagittarius, what's your energy of today in love? The Eight of Wands. So um, communication, fast communication coming in. Out of the blue communication for some of you. The person that you are dealing with, connected to, in a relationship with is in this time of silence. They've been resting, recovering. Ooh. What is the energy coming in for the couple? The Wheel of Fortune. Spirit's advice is the Five of Cups and the outcome of this connection today or whatever day you see this message on. The Three of Cups. The bottom of the deck and shared energy between the two is the Nine of Cups. Clarified with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Star, we're going to take it because it's Major Arcana. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords in reverse, followed by the Four of Wands. So, the heart is finally healing. Um, moving towards a more stable place between the two of you, a more stable connection. Um, just finding stability within the communication. Um, Let's see why the Eight of Wands is here for your energy, Sagittarius. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? The Knight of Pentacles. So, uh, could be an Earth sign or somebody that's just been very slow moving, um, calculating every step they take, um, reevaluating, evaluating, and reevaluating again which direction to move in. They've been moving very slow, or you have. Uh, communication could have been um, very slow, like it takes them days, weeks, months to answer a text message. Um, but that is changing. Um, they're, they're slowly opening up. But communication from this slow moving energy is going to come in very quickly today. Um, because they're out of the blue getting a wake up call. Um, they were very much so in their thoughts. Um, could be about a relationship or with you or somebody else. Um, we will see that here in just a second. Let's get one more for the Knight of Pentacles. Who's this Knight of Pentacles? Because this is a message. Um, you know, the Knights are action. Oh my goodness. I just pulled the three bottom. Look at that. This Knight of Pentacles is somebody who has been taking a stand back. They have been thinking about everything, um, trying to evaluate where to go from here. They could be acting very cold, like I said, taking a long time to answer your messages, but this is action moving forward. Um, could be dealing with a earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius and Taurus here with the majors, but this person has been trying to decide where to go, which direction to move in, um, trying to deepen their connection with the divine, or this could be you as well, but they are, they are reaching out to you or you to them, Sagittarius, about giving this relationship another go. Um, the king takes action, um, and they are going to take action. Once again, another night. So they have been taking a rest from this connection. They have been taking a break. They needed to heal a lot of things that had happened over the past, but they are coming forward and taking action and offering something um, to you. Bottom of the deck now is Wheel of Fortune. So things are turning. Things are changing in your favor, Sagittarius. The energy coming for the connection is the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the wheel here? 
All right, so in the past, it could have been very immature um, communication, but they are sending you a message of truth today. Um, the energy coming in for this connection is change is coming because they are speaking their truth, sending a message of truth, stepping into their power um, and taking on that emperor role, taking back control of their life, moving away from, from rough waters, moving into a more uh, positive direction. Um, this is somebody that is at a distance from you, but the ship is coming in now with that Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Why is the Five of Cups here as the advice? So the advice is to give thanks for for what you have and, and not focus on um, what you lost. When you go forward and follow your heart's true desire, move into that true path of happiness, of love, of um, you know true connection, you will soon heal those three of cups that are spilt. Um, and those two of cups will be very prominent. Um, so Spirit's advice is to release the three of cups that have already spilled. Follow your heart. Be in your true heart's desire. And those two of cups will, will um, shine even more bright. Who's the king of cups here? Why is this king of cups here? So if you are connecting to a male... Um, if this is a you know male female relationship, the male is the one that needs to follow their true heart's desire. They are the one that are hiding their feelings, um, some out of fear, some out of um, not real, not knowing what, um, not knowing what this connection is just yet. Um, if you if this is a same sex relationship, um, the older one of the two is the one that sees the uh, connection and it's the younger one that needs to um, see past the three of cups spilled is what I'm seeing. When asked what the, who the king of cups is or what this action is, their true heart's desire is to move in your direction, Sagittarius. They desire you, they want you, they want to be with you. Um, they want to be happy and celebrate instead of mourn the three of cups. So the king's true heart's desire is to move away from a situation they're currently in and towards you. Um, they, they find you very appealing and their true heart's desire is to be happy and celebrate with you um, instead of being in that place of mourning. In the outcome, you have the Three of Cups as well. Why is the Three of Cups here in the outcome? Wow. Okay, let's get one more. So, uh, an opportunity for happiness joy celebration is coming in for you wow after you allow the past to stay in the past move forward following your intuition you are going to get a new offer a new door of opportunity is opening for you Sagittarius with that king of wands sitting there that's going to bring you a lot of happiness it may not be this person up here you may have to choose um, you may have to choose, but your this is a good vibration. This is a, a beautiful vibration of a relationship. If this is the person you have been waiting on, um, they're going to come and make you this offer as well because your bottom of the deck and shared energy are wishes coming true. Um, who is What is their wish come true? What prayers have been answered? So yes, your prayers have been answered if that is something you've been asking. Yes, your your wishes are going to come true because you got the nine of cups and the star in your shared energy um, with a past life person. Um, your past life person is going to come in speaking the truth very quickly out of the blue. Why is the nine of cups here? Yeah, so in this time of uh, separation or times of whatever this connection that's been on delay has been, you've really um, worked hard to raise your vibration and it's allowing your wishes to come true, your prayers to be answered. Yeah, and you're gonna get that happy fulfillment, that that life that you have worked so hard to try to manifest is here for you, the abundance. You notice the turtle in this. It takes a long time to get here. It takes a long time for those wishes to come true, but you have to believe it. You have to follow your intuition and you have to know that it is coming in for you. The turtle wins the race, remember. So even though you've been in delay a long time, it is coming in for you. 
Yeah, the person that you were waiting for that's a past life soulmate had to go through a transformation. They had to release and purge things out of their life um, before they could come forward. Um, but they are coming forward very quickly. It could be a Virgo you're dealing with there. They're coming forward asking you to work on this connection with them, wanting to start something, um, a new relationship with you, a new door, a new opportunity um, is coming in for you. No longer, no longer the old way of doing things. Yeah, they're coming in with the truth. Once again, Virgo clarifying it. So this person has taken the time to find their own path. They weren't sure before, but they know it now. They're coming out of this time of retreat. They're coming out of this time of silence. Um, for some of them, they are seeking justice in their own life, having to break down old paradigms, having to bring down old things in their past, in their life um, that they are dealing with. And that's why they've been so held back. But they are coming forward with the truth, coming out of this time of silence. Um, but Sagittarius, uh, you guys are going to have a choice. You have more than one option here. You have three kings, the king of swords, the king of cups, the king of wands. Um, and you can choose which one uh, you want to pick. You have three options, all of which would be a beautiful blessing to your life. So you just have to decide what it is that you truly want. What is your wish come true and communicate it with whoever that is. Um, for some of you, it is a past life soulmate returning. For some of you, it's somebody totally new. Um, for some of you, it's a friend that's been in your space and you didn't even realize um, they were wanting to take things to the next level. It's going to take you by surprise for some of you. <coughs> new love just wanted to pop out there, but it didn't. Let's see what... All right, you got two that flipped. Calling in your soulmate and trust. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. But this situation is calling for you to have faith. Have uh, faith in yourself, in, um, in the divine, in your person. Know that this is coming in for you um, because you are manifesting it in this time of retreat. So, all right, Sagittarius, have a beautiful day.